Hello and welcome to Unix Services Training where we'll be learning today about disk group operations in Veritas Volume Manager. VXDG is the command which is used to create a grouping of disks and adding and removing the disks from the group. So we'll be performing this uh, practically. So if we use VX disk list, we should see all the disks which are there. So in the previous sessions, we have already seen how do we go ahead and uh, provide these disks from operating system to the volume manager, the Veritas volume manager, but still we can just rerun the command. So we'll say disk setup dash i and the type of disk. So now if we just go back to the list and if we see and all these disks are right now online and is available for the volume manager, the Veritas volume manager to perform the disk group operation. So let's provide a, a name for our disk group. So I'll just give a name as Unix. or I'll say Linux is the name of the group which I'm creating and I'm creating a name for the disks inside so this is disk 1 SDA SDB is disk 2 and uh, SDC is disk 3. So if we just uh, list it now, so we can see the name of the disks which has been given for the group which it belongs to. <coughs> so this is how you just go ahead and uh, add the disks which are there and we create a group. So let's see <coughs> how do we remove a disk from the group. So I want to remove SDC. So I can just say VXDG dash G. The name of the group is Linux and the disk which I want to remove is my disk 3. RM disk to remove disk. Yes, we have removed the disk. Right now if you see SDC is not a part of the Linux group, disk group. So we can also use VX Assist to see the size of the group. Let's go ahead and uh, add a disk. So we'll say VX Assist dash G 
and the name of the group is Linux and the disk I want to add is my disk 3 SDC so I missed add disk VXSS dash G Linux is the name of the group add disk my disk 3 is equal to SDC Okay, it's not VX assist, it is VX DG. <coughs> okay, now we have added the disk and we can list the disk which is there. Okay, that's great. So we have we were able to add the disk, we were able to remove the disk, create a group. Let's see how do we deport a group so I'll just go ahead and use deport so now you can see I have removed the group completely so even by default after removing the group the disks would be handled by the group so if you see now <coughs> these disks are still being handled by the group Linux itself we can just prove that by creating a new group So it sees, it will show you it has been owned by Linux. Okay. So at this time, what we have to do is we need to unset up the disks. But before we go ahead and do that, we can try importing it. So we'll use this command vxtg. import so before we import we can just rename this we'll try renaming it I'm giving a new name as Unix and I'm trying to import Linux. And see. So this is how you can just rename this by importing it. So let's go ahead and uh, deport this disk. Let's say So now it's online. We can now try to remove the complete disk handling from volume manager.
so we can use VX disk on setup dash C uppercase C can use SD B and SD C so that finishes the complete disk group management uh, creating groups and working on groups thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead